Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Minna, man. And welcome back to another tutorial. Ah. Ah. Wait a sec. Oh. That hurt way too much. Anyways, today, guys, I'm going to answer one of the biggest questions that have been asked around my channel since I started YouTube, since I started making tutorials, and it's what is the best screen recorder? <gasps> and when I say screen recorder, I mean for your computer or laptop. And the thing is, is that there's so many different types of screen recorders out there. I could think of like maybe 30 to 40, even more than that, screen recorders that are out there. So how do you differentiate between the ones that suck, the ones that have a big watermark right over the middle of them, that you, that's useless, you can't use the video, and it's just a test, or you have poor quality video from the screen recorder because it's a trial, because they want you to pay for it. We don't want to pay for anything. But free doesn't always mean good quality. In this video, I'm going to go through four different awesome screen recorders that are good quality and are free. Let's get into this. So the first screen recorder I have here for you guys is called EasyVid. Now, if you go to their website, you scroll down, you'll see that you have the free screen recorder option. So once you get to that page, you can you can see that there is a free download button for EasyVid, if you just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see that you can get it. It's version right now, it's 1.0.04. So you can just download that. And this program is pretty awesome. Once you have it installed, it's a pretty easy installation. It doesn't take too long of your time. You can see that it even has its built-in editor, which is awesome for after you finish screen recording. But before you even get there, how do you just screen record? If you wanna just screen record, just go over to the right middle hand side and you'll see that icon looks like a monitor. You click on that and that will allow you to record your screen. You'll even see a little countdown it'll go three two one and then you can just record whatever you want on your desktop your screen doesn't matter just do it now once you're finished recording it'll actually go on the timeline for that media track and you'll have some music that's automatically in there as you can you know, play with your settings play with how you want the video to turn out and then you can save the video right to your computer. Now, a little bit ago, EasyVid required you to upload it straight to YouTube. You couldn't just save it to your own machine. But now, luckily, they changed that. You can save it right to your computer without a problem, so you don't have to go through second-party applications just to pull it down from YouTube. So this is really convenient and nice. Now, one of the drawbacks of this application is that you don't have the audio from the screen recording. So that kind of sucks. You can only work off of the music audio that they give you to put under your screen recording, which I, I don't know, that's not the best. But at least you have that built-in editing feature to where if you make multiple screen recordings, you can clip them together and make a nice little montage out of it. So here's a little clip of what I was able to record with EasyVid. The next site I have here for you guys is called Bandicam. You can head over to their website, bandicam.com, click on the free download option, and once you get to the next page, just click on download Bandicam. This installation is also not too complicated, pretty straightforward. Once you have the application open, you can see that it's gonna be unregistered, so it is a trial version. There is gonna be a watermark on it, but the good thing about this is that the watermark is small. It's gonna be at like the top of your screen, so it's not gonna be that bad. You, If you want to, you can crop your video down a little bit, like in your post editing, so that way you can just get whatever part of the screen you're trying to get instead of the full screen. But this screen recording software is pretty simple. If you want to record, just click on that big recording button on the top right hand corner. Now you'll probably get a message saying what part of the screen you want recorded. So this will just take you to the screen recording mode to where you just adjust how much of the screen you want recorded and then it'll record that for you and save it. And once it saves, you can also go to the output folder which you can open or you can change it. So here's a little clip of what I was able to record with Bandicam. <laughs> Now the third screen recorder I have here for you guys is one not a lot of people know about surprisingly and it's called Windows 10 Screen Recorder. So if you update your Windows machine to the latest Windows which is Windows 10 then you get an automatic screen recorder and to get that you need to open up the Xbox app. You need to have an account with them and once you make that account if you didn't have one already you can just click the Windows key and G and when you do that you'll get this little bar at the bottom 
and you can record easily straight from there just by pressing that big red button. Now, one of the drawbacks of this application is that you can only record within the screen that you're on. So if you're on the Google Chrome application and you're trying to switch while you're mid recording, the recording will actually stop. But besides that drawback, it's really not that bad if you're not gonna be switching between screens. Once you're finished with your recording, you can go over to the Xbox app and then go on to Game DVR and you can see all of the recordings that you made. You can even trim it, open up the file location where the video is so you can mess with the file if you want to. And this is kind of nice because you don't have to go out of your way to download a screen recorder, buy a screen recorder. It's already in the Windows 10 OS. So here's a little clip of what I was able to get from the Windows 10 screen recorder. Now the last free screen recorder software I have here is called OBS Studio. And this one might be my favorite. You can head over to their website, click on the free download, and you'll see that you have the option to download it for Windows, Mac, and also Linux. The installation for OBS was really simple and easy. I didn't have any problems at all. I was able to get the application up and running pretty quickly. But then right when I got into the app, I noticed I had a black screen. And I was staring at this black screen for like 10 minutes. I didn't know what to do. But after a while, I figured out what I had to do was add a source. And I added the source of display capture. So that way I could just capture whatever was on my monitor. I didn't do anything specific to any application. I just said, just capture whatever's on my monitor. And that's what I did. So yeah, you're seeing a crazy tunnel effect here. But I was able to get at least something to show. <laughs> so if you're downloading this application for the first time, you'll see that you'll have that black screen issue and you should just uh, be aware of it. Over to the right of that, you'll see that you have a mixer and that way you can see the desktop audio of your game and also the mic and audio levels. And if you go all the way to the right hand corner, you'll see that you can stream, which goes straight from Twitch, really convenient. You can record and stop recording with that single button right there. And you have different kinds of settings you can go through if you wanna change your file type, you wanna change like your frames per second, any settings, there's a lot of different things you can do, but you can just mess around in there if you'd like. Now, if you wanna see your recording, all you have to do is go up to file and then click on show recordings. So now here's a little example of what I was able to record using OBS. So there you guys have it. Those are my favorite screen recorders I was able to find over the internet. They're easy to use, they're simplistic, they record in good quality, and the best part of all, they're free. Part of me right now is glad that I did the research and I found these good screen recorders because I've been using my Elgato Game Capture HD to record my screen on my computer for the longest time, but it's so taxing on my laptop because I don't have the most powerful machine. So it's it's, it's really pain when I try to, to record something or try to do something because something always gets messed up, something gets corrupt, it, it's really annoying. But now, I think with OBS, probably my favorite one out of all of these, it's gonna be so much easier because OBS doesn't take out so much power from my machine. Like I don't hear my fan just running like crazy and loud. I think in my point of view right now, for all my screen recordings here on out, I'm probably gonna use OBS or the Windows 10 built-in screen recorder. Bandicam, I just don't wanna deal with the little watermark at the top. I don't wanna have the crush in my frames. And with EasyVid, I don't like the fact that they don't have the audio in there. Plus I have my own editing software. So if you're a person that doesn't have your own editing software and you need uh, to get a screen recording and you wanna edit at the same time, EasyVid could work really well for you. But I, I don't like using their music either. It, everything is just too uh, fixed. You can't do what you want. And that's what I don't like. But if you're starting out new, it could work for you. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up. Helps my channel out a ton. And if there's any of these screen recorder applications you want me to go more in detail with, let me know in the comments below. I can do it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.